Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, Raycon headphones. Uh, they seem to be popping up all over the place on YouTube and internet. Everybody's recommending them. So, um, a couple months back, actually it was end of July, I decided to jump the gun and um, get one of those, see what the fuss was about. And these are my impressions of it. So just before I ordered them, and the reason why I ordered them is because my old ones, these power beats, died. These served me for years. These were a uh, beast. Uh, they went to thin and thick. I even had a, you know, a split here. I put some glue, and it went on. Uh, I've been going to the gym, running with it. Um, you know, even walking down the, when. It was raining and you know pretty much nothing killed them until uh, I guess the battery died I mean I still haven't done the autopsy on them and I uh, certainly will pop them up and see what what's broken but my guess 99% uh, the battery died because it just doesn't charge so I didn't have any issues with them they were just amazing so I decided okay let's go it's uh, 2020 let's go with something more modern get these uh, wireless uh, Raycon ones so um I opted in for these E25 because they were the budget one and everybody were recommending them all the popular youtubers so I'm like okay let's see um, I got them and for the most part they're good um, they do have a long battery life they're easy to pair they're easy to charge um, they come in this charging case, so once you actually charge the case, um, and, and, and it, that charges the, the headphones themselves, so you can get like two, three, maybe four charges out of the, the case. So you pretty much, you know, pop them in and they charge, and that's pretty comfy. But um, I know when I bundle this up and put it in my pocket, it's, it's way bigger than... Uh, this but this is so easy to lose it slips all over the place it's you know between the cushion uh, in the car um, in the backpack I mean this lugs around all over the place you just find one end of the cable yank it out and you know but I mean that's just me um, other stuff that that really bothers me is um, when you pair them up they kind of they work great but the delay, the latency on these is awful. So if you're listening to the podcast, listening to the music, it's great. It works just fine. The sound is great. The uh, battery life is great. But when you try to watch videos or movies, I mean, it's unbearable, at least for me. The delay is so noticeable. Like even, you know, if you try to play video games, nope, uh-uh, doesn't work. That didn't happen with these. These were, you know, just, you know, pretty much workhorse, work just fine. Um, second thing is sometimes the left and right uh, headphone can get out of sync. So you can hear the delay between the headphones. And, uh, you know, sometimes like one disconnects and connects. It's kind of weird. It's all over the place. You know, it's it's not the greatest experience like if you put so with these when I put my phone in a pocket you know they just work with these when I put my phone in a pocket like one of them starts like cutting out or or they just get the you know uh, digitalized voice so I don't know what it's about it but the worst thing that I um, found about this, about this thing is um, so when I grab them I grab them like this but my left one kind of fell apart and this happened like a like fairly recently like not even a month after I bought it so I mean you can obviously see the insides I don't know how it popped open like this it kind of like I wasn't doing anything different than I was doing to this one I just grabbed them like this but I guess this one didn't didn't uh, stand the test of time so but I mean it's cool I can see the insides there is a magnet that actually helps um, you know um, putting them in like this and there are these two uh, pogo poles that actually charge them so that's kind of nice 
um, there is a nice little battery inside and you can see the electronics all of it so I don't know I, I think I'm gonna put in some super glue try to glue it up and then I'm also gonna reach out to Raycon because I, I, I think like you know if it like I got this at the end of the June and I didn't July and I didn't start using them until the first week of August so and they like they barely lasted I don't know it's weird it's just just weird I mean they just fell apart you see stupid all right anyway that's that's pretty much it oh 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 there are a couple little things that I I don't think they are a deal breaker but I kind of don't like so when when you take these out out of the case they automatically turn on and pair up with the phone but sometimes they don't do that you, you put them in and you gotta turn them on so I mean I know it's you know it's cool it, it's a cool feature and you should turn them on but I'm like if it does from time to time why doesn't it do all the time and then also like when you put them back in and you close the case they sometimes shut down and automatically disconnect from the phone but not all the time so sometimes if you just put them in and close that you don't know that your phone is still connected if you don't look at the little icon on the phone they're still showing up connected and until they run out of battery or something you don't know that your phone is still connected and I mean if your phone rings it rings to the, these damn things so I like it's you know it's great feature having it but it should work all the time or it shouldn't work all the time the inconsistency is what bothers me the most so in short pros um, you know nice style they fit nice snug in the ear they don't fall out uh, you got the battery case that actually charges them multiple times. Um, they last for, um, you know, six hours at a time, at least. Um, they're cool. They sound great. Cons, great latency. Sometimes you can end up with one breaking apart. Um, inconsistency when it comes to connecting and disconnecting when you're using just the case you know when you take them out they automatically should turn on and connect to the phone sometimes they don't do that and then again once you pop them in and close the lid so they should uh, you know shut down and disconnect they don't do that every time so you know there are some things um, but yeah I mean I kind of miss my old daily driver these ones I mean they just work every time worked every time all the time and as I said the latency on these like oh my god you, you just couldn't feel it these ones I mean can't watch movies you can't watch YouTube videos if you if you're bothered by that if you don't kind of care but anyway those are my two cents on these um, um, if you're uh, if you're if you like to listen to music and listen to the podcast, I would recommend these things. Otherwise, if you would like to play games and watch videos, I would not. So those are my two cents on these. Uh, I will be reaching out to the manufacturer, see uh, what they have to say about uh, you know the one that actually fell apart. Um, if that actually falls under their warranty and if they're willing to do a replacement on that. Um, and also if there is a firmware update for these to do something about the latency and the issues with uh, connecting and disconnecting um, but yeah I'll do another update on these and uh, I'll see you soon guys um, thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time stay safe and uh, join me on the next uh, tour of the electronics I got around here thank you have a good one bye bye